Interesting, muttered Denagon to himself. The force of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared on this planet, but not in space. I wonder if space actually exists. His eyes crawled down to the bottom of the page. He did not want to stray in his thought, for he felt that he had not read enough today. Oh well, I'll probably never travel there anyway, he said to quell his imagination. The wind flipped a page just as he finished it. At the same moment, a clutter of footsteps rumbled the terrain. They were metallic, banging against the stones upon the field and tearing up the moss upon the dirt. A loud cranking sound churned as well, wooden and monstrous. However, Denagon did not even bulge. He knew what was coming and how to handle it. A train of human knights with shimmering armor and horses of Aegis's adorned march forth. Wheeling a catapult amongst their lines, they loaded a boulder. Equipping their shields, they fell into combative positions, orderly as they were taught to by their predecessors. Reptilian bones decorated their tunics, granting them their only source of bravery in this battle. And I wonder, pondered Denagon whilst he continued browsing, if these worldly variables are actually constant. The commanding paladin trotted up front. Desist, beast, he shouted under his cage visor helm. Prepare to be vanquished. Could you attack me later? I'm in the middle of a tome. They armed their lances. Charge, valiant knights, destroy this abomination. With that, they charged forth, the lances pointed. They rushed to run through their target like they had run through so many other creatures in their path. Blood boiled in their veins, fueling their avaricious anger. Denagon nonchalantly dropped down from his perch position to the ground. Without even taking his eyes off his book, he casually thrust his fist out, punching a hole straight through the head of one of his enemies as it charged. The decapitated body still hanging off his forearm, he merely shifted his fist to the side so that the others could run into it. Expectedly, they did, blasting apart their own skulls against his scaly knuckles.